NMIT provides a wide range of training programs in sustainability and for a variety of green occupations. The Green Skills Centre, a sustainable training facility, opened in November 2010. This state-of-the-art $9.5 million facility is located at its Epping campus. Funded by the federal government, the Green Skills Centre has been designed as a five-star building. All of the materials that were used for the building's construction underwent a selection process to minimise the impact that they have on the environment and the occupants of the building. The building has been designed to contribute to sustainability directly through its design and also the activities that occur within it. The entrance and front area of the building is an attractive piece of architecture, whilst being practical and reducing the amount of heat and sun in summer, and increasing it during winter. Indoors, the staircase stands out in the entrance hall, encouraging its use opposed to taking the lift, reducing the building's energy consumption. The Building Management System, often referred to as BMS, is a computer-based control system that monitors the building's mechanical and electrical equipment such as ventilation, lighting, power systems, fire, and security systems. The BMS display mounted in the foyer provides data in a visual medium of the amount of solar energy and solar hot water produced and the reduction in greenhouse gases by the building's solar systems. The Green Skills Centre has a special uh, setup with the BMS where the students can actually see the performance of the building and particularly in the energy being used in each classroom and the energy that the building's actually creating and feeding back into the grid. This is a fantastic tool educationally for students studying at NMIT. The building's power supply is generated by 144 Shanghai top solar green solar panels that are mounted on the facility's roof, generating 100 kilowatt hours of energy each day, monitored by an inverter that regulates the energy that travels in and out of the building. These solar panels are accompanied by a specially designed wind turbine particularly suitable for use in an urban environment. Rather than students remounting the panels on the actual skills centre's roof, there are three different roof type structures outside of the building that enable them to build skills in installing them on the multiple types of roofs. As the Green Skills Centre is a training facility, the roof is also mounted with three different solar hot water systems. Each system has different operational information which can be compared via the BMS. Around the building, five plastic rainwater tanks totaling 110,000 litres are fitted with an ultraviolet filtration system filtering out any bugs for the water that is stored, which is then used for the toilets within the building and the laboratories. To accompany these tanks, the Green Skills Centre has a low energy grey water treatment storage and recycling system that reduces the centre's water wastage that flows out of the building. This recycled water is then used for irrigation throughout the campus's landscape. The bioorganics lab located on the ground floor of the building enables students to analyse the quality of the grey water system and conduct soil tests to investigate how recycled water impacts on the soil and the plants that grow within it. The microbial laboratory actually is a facility where we look at the microbial health of water, for example measuring E. coli concentrations. We also do some DNA extraction work in that laboratory facility as well. On the training floor of the centre, each trade is interrelated. An example of this is the water recycling section which mimics the actual building system. It can be taken apart by students to understand how it operates and how it is manufactured. This system wouldn't be able to operate without the use of electrical engineering, which is another section on the floor where students are trained. The training floor also has four model houses which students inspect to understand their structural design. This is then beneficial to designing models of buildings in the model making room within the Green Skills Centre. All of the classrooms within the building, excluding the training floor, are air conditioned through ground source heat pumps. This process involves heat being pumped to or from the ground using 22 bore holes that are up to 100 metres deep. The earth is then used as a heat source in the winter and a heat sink in the summer. This system reduces energy costs significantly compared to regular air conditioning systems. Other features within the Green Skills Centre include 
bike rails to encourage staff and students to bike ride to the centre, an e-water cleaning system which is a chemical free cleaning product, an insulated roof that reduces reverberation within the facility, and cameras that are installed around the training floor, enabling training to be broadcast at other institutes around the world. The Green Skill Centre has been designed to allow a lifetime of change and adaptability when new technologies and systems become available, providing a stimulating learning space for a sustainable future. The principles that this building uses are the principles that I need to incorporate into my subject matter. So the fact that I get to use this building and understand how this building works helps me now and will help me in the future. For more information about the courses available in the Green Skill Centre, contact NMIT on 9269 8400 or email course-inquiries at nmit.vic.edu.au. The Green Skill Centre, contributing to sustainability directly through the design, our actions and by educating future generations on sustainable technology.